Hello, this is Lucian Miller from Innovative Designs, and today we're going to show you the proper technique for soldering on a Dean's connector onto a speed controller. Uh, today we've got a uh, Scorpion Commander 35 amp speed controller that we've already put the uh, bullet connectors on in a previous video, and uh, today we're going to show you how to put the Dean's connector on. Now, even though the wires come pre-tinned from the factory, you're still going to want to tin them with some fresh solder so you make sure that the solder that you have on the wires is the same solder you're going to be using to solder the connector on. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about solder and a little bit about soldering irons here in this video as well. The solder that I'm using is a standard rosin core electronic solder. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, lead and tin. Uh, it's a 67-33% uh, or 6337, I think it's a 6337 alloy of solder with the rosin already inside the, uh, the solder. And I'm using a Weller 40 watt soldering iron. And when you solder bullet connectors or Dean's connectors, you want to make sure you have a nice wide chisel tip on the, uh, on the soldering iron there. You want really good quick heat transfer that's going to heat up the solder quickly and get out of there quickly. If you use a, a smaller soldering iron with a, with a uh, small point like this one has, you're not going to be able to get the parts hot enough very quickly and you're going to be in there way too long with your soldering iron. You're going to melt the plastic. So that's why we're using the, uh, the soldering iron with a wider chisel tip. And again, you always want to wipe your soldering iron on the sponge and put a fresh coat of solder on it before you do any soldering. And we're going to come in here and heat up the wire and apply the solder. The idea here is to fill in all the voids and all the space in between each individual strand of wire with solder so you have good conductivity throughout the whole wire. And once you get it filled in nicely here, we're going to flip it over and we're going to check the other side because a lot of times the solder doesn't go all the way up to the top of the wire and when you flip it over you can put a little bit of extra solder up there near the top to make sure that you got good connection all the way across that wire. And uh, when you're doing the Dean's connectors, you want to have enough solder on here to not only fill all of the strands of wire, but you also want to have just a little bit extra to flow onto the connector. So now that we've got the, uh, the wires prepped, we'll go on to prepping the uh, Dean's connector. Okay, now that we've got the uh, wires on the speed controller tinned, we're going to go uh, move on to the Dean's connector. Now the Dean's connectors are great connectors and they're extremely common in RC these days. The one thing you do have to be careful about though is they have a plastic body with the metal pins. So when you solder these things, you have to be careful not to get the metal contacts too hot or you can cause the uh, plastic body to melt and the contacts will shift. And when that happens, if they move enough, you, they won't even line up with the connector when you try and plug them in, or when you go to plug them in, you'll get a bad connection that, that'll be intermittent and it won't work right. Now, the uh, thing that you want to do whenever you're soldering a Dean's connector is always plug it into a mating connector before you actually start soldering. And when you do this, uh, it does two things. First, the extra mass of the pins and the wire that's on the other connector acts as a heat sink to help keep the uh, plastic from getting too hot and also it maintains the alignment of the pins and locks them in place so they don't move around while you're trying to solder them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my vise here and we're going to solder the connectors, uh, make sure they're tinned well. I'm going to put a coat of solder on the top side but you also want to come around the sides of the pins here and put a little bit of solder on the sides of the pins. This gets a, the solder joint to wrap all the way around the connector blade here and it gives you really good contact. You also want to build up just a little bit of extra solder there uh, so when you mate it with the wire later you have plenty of solder. Next I'm going to rotate it in my vise and we're going to do the, uh, the other blade here. Now whenever you're soldering to Dean's connectors you always want to observe the proper polarity. On a Dean's connector, um, if you look really closely, right here molded onto the connector is a little plus sign. 
and that means that this blade here that goes side to side, that's the positive wire that the red lead is going to attach to. And the blade here that goes up and down, that's the negative lead, and that's where your black wire is going to go. You always want to maintain that standard because if you don't, and you're using your uh, speed controller when you borrow somebody's battery and plug into it, then you can have a situation where you'll get a reverse polarity on the, uh, on the speed controller and blow it up. So now that we've got our uh, connector tinned, we're going to be uh, moving on to actually soldering it to the speed controller. Okay, we've got the uh, Dean's connector uh, tinned and we've got the wires tinned on our speed controller and now it's, we're ready to mate the two together. Always remember, before you put the two together, don't forget your heat shrink. I know a lot of times when you put them together, you get it all done, you go, oh, shoot, I forgot my heat shrink, and you got to unsolder them and take them apart. So always remember to slide the heat shrink on first, slide that all the way up the wire here so it's not going to get hot and shrink on you. Now, when you solder the wires to the bullet connector, or to the Dean's connector, I've got a little technique that I like to use here where I put a little bit of solder on both sides of my iron. And then I set the wire on top of the iron and let the solder on the iron melt. Then I set the soldering iron on the Dean's connector and get that melted and then just pull the, the, the soldering iron out, set it on top for a second to reflow the solder and then just let it, uh, let it harden. Now if you look at that you can see how you have solder on all the way around both sides. It even wraps around to the bottom. So you've got that wire per completely encapsulated in solder all the way around that's exactly what you're looking for. That way you make sure that you, you've got good contact and it doesn't uh, peel off later. And then we're going to repeat this same process for the negative lead now. Remember, wipe your soldering iron off with your sponge every single time you use it. We're going to pre-tin the soldering iron with a little bit of solder on both sides. And then hold the wire on the soldering iron until the solder melts. Set the soldering iron on this Dean's connector contact. Then put it on top for a second to make sure that the solder flows. Hold it still and then within about two seconds that solder is going to harden. And now you can see on this one here how we have nice solder going all the way around. It even, see it even wraps around the, the sides of the connector. And then see down here at the end the solder is wrapping down around the end of the connector. So you're not just getting solder on one surface, you're getting solder to four separate surfaces and that really strengthens the solder joint and really makes it strong. And now, after you've given it a few seconds to cool, you can slide your heat shrink down up against the Dean's connector and now you can pop off your uh, connector that you were using to hold everything in place. Then you want to get your heat gun and you're going to want to come in and uh, heat the heat shrink from one side, flip it over, heat the other side. And there you have it. Nice uh, shrunk all the way around. And uh, you're done. You've got the uh, perfect solder joints there in your Dean's connector and you know that they're going to hold well and uh, last a long time for you. So there you have it. You've got your Dean's connector all soldered on to your speed controller. Uh, we'd already put the uh, bullet connectors on in one of our other videos which you can see on our website. So uh, now you know the proper techniques for soldering both ends of your speed controller. Um, you can check out uh, our other videos that show things like how to change bearings and shafts and, and other soldering techniques uh, at our website at www.innovativedesigns.com. Thanks for watching.